Key skills for a barrister include the ability to think on your feet and present yourself well. So for anyone applying to the bar, in theory, the interview should be the easy bit. But a good interview may not be enough. You're up against tough opposition and there's a lot of luck involved. Your interview is going to need to be exceptional. And the barristers you're about to hear from once proved an interview that they themselves have what it takes. I'm Barrister Daniel Barnett. I'm an employment practitioner at Outer Temple Chambers in London, and I'm presenter of the LBC Legal Hour on LBC Radio. This is my guide to going before the panel. Top tips for your pupillage interview. The sort of ability to stand in front of a judge um, starts with the ability to stand in front of a pupillage interview panel. Um, and that's what really I start to pick up is if someone is really nervous, I don't think they do as well in the interview itself. So my top tip is sit down with yourself, realise your worth and then walk into the interview. Stop, listen and think. You always have slightly more time than you think you do. And I always say to people that what feels like a silence of an eternity in answering a question in reality is usually about five or ten seconds. So um, always give yourself that chance to digest the question that's been asked uh, before launching into an answer. Because if you take 20, 30, 40 seconds before you answer and then you answer really well, that delay and then that good answer makes you look better, not worse you don't get extra credit for speed and the pause is likely to allow you time to digest the question and better structure your answer. Some questions like why you want to be a barrister, you need to answer immediately and know the answer straight away. Other answers, you need to pause, have a think and answer liberally. My top tip for pupillage interviews is making sure that you look at the Chamber's website to obtain good content and to understand what the Chambers has been up to recently. And, and with that, following up by looking at any Supreme Court or Court of Appeal decisions, including um, looking at the videos of the hearings themselves, uh, so that you can talk about those cases with confidence. Have a crib sheet, whether virtual or in hard copy, that you can read while you're in the waiting room. This should have the key points from your application form, hot legal issues that you might be asked about and your views either way on them and anything that's been in the news about the law recently. It will reassure you that you have something to look at before the interview and it will be right in your mind when it comes to it. What are the panel looking for? They're not looking for sensible, safe answers to questions of the day. If they ask you, when I was applying, it was always about jury trials in fraud cases and should we have them? They don't want to know what your view is on jury trials in fraud cases. They want you to advocate for a particular position and then defend it under pressure. You just have to be yourself, ultimately. I suspect that I did not get as many offers as I might have done because I was trying to look and sound like a barrister and I would say although you need to try and project your ability to do the job you also need to demonstrate a little bit of your own particular personality. It's easier to be yourself than someone else uh, you'll feel more comfortable and therefore more confident uh, unless you're an incredibly good actor, uh, you will come across as unauthentic uh, if you're uh, being someone else. And of course, if you're lucky enough to secure pupillage being someone else, uh, you will uh, have to, for a very long time, maintain that persona. Show people that there's a side to you beyond the undoubtedly good uh, academics, um, the uh, voluntary work, the, the moots and all that. So show, show that there is something behind that, a, a personal interest, a hobby, something along those lines, because when you're sat for hours on trains going to and fro with members of chambers or your pupil supervisor, you need something to talk about. Make sure you know your stuff, so make sure you've done your research about the chambers and know what it is about them that means you really want to join them and why they're right for you. Do try and sell yourself. You are there to be your number one fan. Um, don't be embarrassed about bigging yourself up. The panel wants you to succeed. We want to hear the best of you and 
we're on your side. We want you to succeed and we want the best pupil out there. So we want to know what the best pupil has got to tell us. So don't hide your light under a bushel. Remember that the those interviewing you want you to do well. So approach it with that in mind. Some reassuring thoughts there. We want you to do well. Although, of course, even when you get an interview, it's yours to lose. So don't rush, be prepared and be yourself. The only thing for me to add is good luck. Now, I've made three other videos in this series which you might want to look at. Top tips for getting a pupillage, application pet hates and the things pupil barristers wish they'd done differently. I'm Barrister Daniel Barnett. Thank you to my colleagues and peers for their interview insights and thank you to you for watching. Bye-bye.